Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a little sketch in line and wash of Lincoln Cathedral Square. So this is Lincoln Cathedral and there's uh, lots of little buildings around all kind of different styles of architecture. I thought it was really interesting. So I'm gonna do a sketch of this today. So most of the video today is gonna to be time-lapse and I'm gonna put some soft music on in the background, which you can mute if you don't like it. Um, and it's just gonna be me uh, doing the process of drawing and painting this. Uh, I'm not really going to talk you through very much, but I thought I'd start with a little discussion about uh, one point perspective. So the buildings here and the cathedral are like straight on, so like all of the lines are kind of pretty much like um, horizontal um, or vertical. But these buildings at the side of the square, um, you can see the one point perspective really clearly. So what do I mean by that? I mean that somewhere in here, probably around about here, there's a point at which all of these lines converge to. So like this, the top of this building here would come down to a point there, and then the bottom of the building here would come down to a point there. And then the lines on this side as well all converge on that point. So like the bottoms of the buildings here probably all converge on a point somewhere around here. And you can see as I rotate the ruler that all of the horizontals in those buildings are on along lines that converge to that point. So yes, yeah, so there's the like the top of the building there. What's important for the sketch is that we translate those uh, direction lines into the sketch and then we can use them to place these buildings on them. So I'm going to start with a pencil sketch, putting in my perspective lines first. And then once I've got the basic outlines uh, sketched in pencil, I'll go over with pen. And then when I'm happy with my pen sketch and I've got all the details in there, I'm going to be using watercolour to add some colour to this.
So thanks very much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more from me, then subscribe to the channel. If you fancy painting along with this, you can find the reference photo on my website, and there'll be a link to that down below.